Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Bioshock Infinite. So we're in a different dimension now. Did you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find hmm. that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. So she opened the tear, we went through it to bring back alive this gunsmith. And I don't think Where's it's gonna cash? work. That's gonna work the way we were Got it. hoping. There was a heads. Uh, if people really are keeping count, uh, I have no idea. Seems about 50-50. Ironically, it should be that it was always tails or it was always heads. Because of a section earlier in the game where it was always tails. Uh, so, that wouldn't be terrible. But... Look, the shrine. It's this, a figure of Comstock now. This was it was a shrine of one of the Buddhas, the main Buddha, and now it's one of Comstock. So we're gonna find out that this Chinese gun dealer is working with Comstock, and thus he he's a. Uh, well, he's working with Comstock. I'm not gonna bother to say if he's a good guy or a bad guy, one way or the other. Uh, it looks like something weird has happened because we have traveled into a different universe where people who were dead now somehow remember that they were dead and are, are stuck in loops or something. And so we have Chin Lin here just kind of phasing out of reality. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Hmm. Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Hmm. So we haven't really done anything again by coming up here. This is the second time we've been up in this area and not resolved anything. And I don't think we've resolved anything at all period my husband calm his troubled thoughts ease his burden so we got to talk to the wife bring chen lin back to me which by the way his wife is now white and it was chinese before excuse me ma'am i'm looking for mrs lin i mrs lin no i, I mean a little <clears throat> chinese lady she was booker this is mrs lin they took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. So... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. So now we're taking yet another side quest. Yeah, where we're gonna go find tools for the guy. And I bet it doesn't really work that way. And I bet we end up moving the story forward through literally no actions of our own. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. No, I agree. I think it was a horrible idea. And frankly, if the, she was gonna, if she was gonna make a tear. She should have just made one straight to Paris. Hmm. So we're back to fighting. Where's the guy? Right. Mm. 
So Fink is telling people to be proud of being exploited as a worker. And we're just fighting people again. The police, which I are mostly the same police, I would guess, from who we were fighting in the previous dimension. So that didn't change that much. Now the Mostly trying to just save, save on time here. The most common complaint I hear from the working See, now I can get up here. I couldn't get up here before. The ox cannot become a lion. And why would you want to? Who wants all those the sniper rifle that we knew. There's really no reason to go back to the good time thing. The Sandsmark Retirement Gala is what it says now. It said Booker DeWitt. Uh, and see, now I can finally get that gold that was up there, but you can't reach up there and I'm sure that's intentional so now we go to the shanty town pick up this money this clipping through the floor I can't buy anything there and don't want to buy anything there. Uh, you hold on to this. And of course, as soon as I deal with anything money-wise, she gives me money. And this is the lever I'm supposed to pull. And I think what this is going to do is cause this cargo to move forward. Uh, what? And this. My finger. Uh, sorry, I didn't. It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? Hmm. I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Like, so out of the blue, but clearly the story needs to mention that. You could have very easily played up to this point and not even noticed it. She has a deformity. We have a freight hook, we have cover, and we have an auto no. game. Okay. Interesting. They didn't even start attacking until we were here. We're on the good side of the building still. It's kind of strange that the shanty town would would still look this nice. Just possess that guy. I didn't mean to actually possess him, but he can run around shooting some other people. Seems like there's a rocket launcher or a handyman. Okay, catch. And I need some ammo. Grab a little bit of cover here. Just a cart knocked over. Take this. Catch, Booker. She's giving That'll me health. Do. Die already. See, and the problem Elizabeth. There you go. of playing like this is that 
Uh, I don't even know. It's it's so so many problems. It's, like I don't even know what I was about to say. You're never really wanting to run forward. You just want to take everything nice and slow. Elizabeth. And see this way. Take your time. I'm fine down here. Tells me I can't actually go through that door. I'll be down here. I can come over here and think about maybe getting some more guns. Hmm. And so let's just search around this area. There is a bullet issue that's that's we're running into. And I can get a damage reload increase, whatever. I need, looks like 1400 more money. Need money? Catch, Booker. Yes, but not the small amounts she gives me. Interesting that the take all button doesn't particularly want to work as well as it should. <sighs> so now we're going to Finkton Housing, which big sections of this are just ripoffs of Bioshock 1 and 2 of Rapture. I think intentionally, storyline wise, but they feel like ripoffs. It's, there's no sin in art in stealing, particularly when you're stealing from yourself, which is exactly what Kevin Levine is doing, uh, which I think that's his name, Kevin Levine, but to do it worse the second time is weird. Hmm. I'm going to switch to the hand cannon, and we'll play with that for a while more money okay catch so we can see this the gun the money didn't change when we entered this different universe they, or if it did change it it's not noticeably different it would have been kind of cool if they had gone to like a gold coin instead of a silver po coin uh, bef uh, when we went entered this universe. Like, I want that real bad, and I think we're gonna get it. But I imagine what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna get it a long time from now. Uh, nothing else really makes any sense. So we're gonna go through this elevator. And then we'll be back to the section, I bet, after an hour of side missions. And see, it doesn't even show the elevator loading this time. Instead, it shows the loading screen, then shows the elevator loading. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose hmm. only acquaintance is a giant bird creature it must seem ridiculous it does it you seems completely back. ridiculous i am not going back to that tower no matter what happens it won't stop until they happen why what did i do to them well you don't even know if that's what they're trying to do now good in this universe like we don't even know if monument tower ever existed <laughs> Look at her hair animation, by the way. It's just kind of hovering. It's, it's actually not as good as it should have looked when it came out. Silver Eagle, so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. 
So they're burning the prophet's voice book, which I assume is that hundred pages book that that he paid people to to he paid that person all right. My family is starving, we need food. So here's what I'm thinking is if who they're eating rats gross if Booker DeWitt hungry please help uh, look how dirty their barefoot in hand sorry uh, if Booker DeWitt had just ended up like on Columbia maybe Daisy's right maybe she should pay him back for all of this not before she pays us we're here for guns and then the airship. Like, so yeah, if Booker had just found himself on Columbia, ended up in this place instead of that beautiful looking facade for the, for the elites, the, the white people on, in Columbia, uh, which this is trying to contrast to that, obviously. If he had seen this and this... This is motivating. What do you think? So, if he had decided to motivate himself to do the right thing, and if he had at some point found Elizabeth and and she became the major person you're trying to save, that would be fine too. But. So I picked up a lock and, and now they're saying death to calm suck and so now I got attacked not by the police or thugs just people but let's face it I was gonna take this no matter what anyways Feel better already just eat all their food Why this area back here is that is so blocked off, I don't know. So I've by picking up that one lockpick, I stole and because I stole I started the fight a little bit early, it doesn't really matter to me. There's another lockpick. How are we doing on lockpicks? 12 of them. I suppose there would have to be at least a slightly thriving uh, thief class of people that, uh, for them to be lockpicks in the world at all. So possession still causes them to kill themselves. Hmm. But it seems kind of cruel to be stealing from these people and searching their bags, but whatever, it's a video game. So I don't really blink an eye at it. Here we go. And we're in this bar. And we could... Well, whiskey apparently reduces our salt for health. By the way, this is Tainted Love that's playing right now. Which is a way earlier song. You see these guys are just leaving it alone. Oh, yeah. 
so let's go down this direction and see if we can talk to people before we end up fighting with people. It's just a kid, so we don't have to worry about the kids. Guitar. Wish I knew how to play. I just spell some of the gloom. It sure is gloomy. Another lockpick. Keys. Fine box to unlock. That has the keys in it. More lockpicks, more money. Hmm. So, there is something I can do with the guitar. Strange that they bothered to program this. So, basically, trailer bait there, and this was in one of the trailers, I'm pretty sure, of the game. Can't play it again. Can't do anything. I can take health. I can eat food like crazy. She gave that to him. I wonder what she would have done had I eaten all the food first. Hmm. Let's listen to this. When you force deep underground, well... You see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. Okay, moving on. Now what's really weird is, why are these here at all? Why are there Fink manufacturing uh, machines for me to do this? And I have to do this for the money because of that. Uh, what killed me there? Hmm. Why am I out here? And now that we know we can travel in different dimensions, when she revives me like that, am I actually in the same universe as before? Or did she take me to a different universe? Or did she bring me back to life like... Chin has been brought back to life. Hmm. Now, I kind of had to do this. though because I wanted to search everything and it wouldn't make too much sense to apparently can't search him even though he seems dead drunk and we still can't afford any upgrades some silver dollars hmm I need my health up let's see Health minus? Health. I can drink a lot of alcohol to get my health up, but it's at the pain of being drunk for a while. Short some money. Hmm. 
Let's just stand still and wait it off. It's rather a long amount of time, isn't it? Maybe do a little exercises to to work your blood stream. See they're throwing knives at Finkton. So we went this way, we found some keys. That was somewhat helpful. And we've got some people trying to break in. Like, I don't think the people of Columbia would kidnap the, the children or anything of these people. So that's probably them banging on a doctor's door. And it would be nice if that said doctor there so we could determine that. This section actually is surprisingly full of trailer moments and demo moments. And not really good gameplay of story at moments. Right. We'll see some more music here in a second. Over there. Hmm. So there's a tear with food sacks. There. That would all right. <gasps> and because of that I'll take all this money because they don't care about the money as much as they wanted the food. Of course, if there's another tear somewhere that those food sacks are going away, because she can only maintain one open at a time. This whole tear system, though, doesn't doesn't work well as a gameplay mechanic. I'm glad it didn't become the new thing that everybody does, uh, because it's silly, and it's so hard to integrate it into a realistic storyline. Are these people choking on the food? Hmm. And I assume that it doesn't look black and white to everybody else. Otherwise, there would be some questions there about whether you should eat that. See, I believe this section right here is just supposed to walk through here and we're going to hear some music in a second and just start listening to it. We're up to 17 lockpicks, which seems excessive. It screams to me we've missed at least one thing at this point. Uh, assets seized for the Vox sympathizers. And these are just plants. Like tomatoes. What is she seeing? I don't see anything to pick up or search there. Guilty labor agitators, we've seen that before. I have this kid with a spoon trying to get at the can. Hmm. Oddly, there is a cannery in, in Rapture that we see. We don't actually see a fishery cannery in this world. So where they're getting their cans, I don't know. Seems like a lot of this stuff. Propagandist. Uh, so there's, they have different... Like, guilty is always there, but labor agitators can be replaced with propagandists. Or activists. Labor activists. Just so you know for certain why these guys are getting pilloried. Hmm. Search this. And they want me to go that way. What's this? Enemies become easier to melee attack compared to increased clip size. I will definitely stick with increased clip size. Making 
weapons for the box. Booker, there's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. Let's see, we haven't switched things in a while. Make no mistake, soldiers. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. Fire, you say? Blaze? So, kind of on the nose there, telling me to use fire. We see a couple life bars up there. What do those life bars mean? Can't open this gate. Hmm. And it seems like I may have gotten off too easy. See that this lady was a commander and she had a Lady Liberty helmet on. Proving she's slightly stronger. I guess is the idea there. I I see what those mean. Found salts. Here. Thanks. These are like. It's all I've got. Hmm. So. By controlling this machine gun, it's destroying these guns. I don't have enough salt to take that guy back. Alright, so the real way they want us to play is to do this. I could jump down here. Hmm. Let's see, we're getting these rocket shots. That's one down. Here go. That'll do. And the second one won't take too much because we've been holding on to these guys for a while. There's, there's a guy right here. So that was what all we needed to do with that. And so you come under this section. And we can bring this guy around. We certainly don't do a lot of that. Uh, aerial attacks. They wanted you to. They most definitely. It's blatantly obvious their idea was this was going to be the main mechanic of the game is flying around on the rails, attacking people. And somehow I think they even think that that would have been faster, but it really isn't. Not one bit is it. Now, the slight problem is how this all works. 
And this whole pathway is just a circle, by the way, so... We sit here, we go up to this. If we switch to this one, it does put us on a different path. Path that lets us get off right here. Well, this is a bear trap. But this is that guy. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. There you go. Except of course you're using kids now. Hmm. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. So this guy was going after Fitzroy. I don't even know why. And Daisy was using chil children as couriers and. Let's see. Do it now. And I really don't even know what's going on with that story, though. Like, I really don't know who that guy is. It seemed like he was working with Daisy, but that doesn't seem to be exactly the case. Shoot the Patriots in the back for extra damage according to the game. See, there seems like there's some collectibles up in that area. And this seems like a new passageway, so we'll take this, get off here, take the sniper, ride this. We'll go ahead and get off. Yeah. And I guess that was the last of them. Just search everybody. Try to find everything. This path goes up this direction to this point where we were and then it speeds up and goes this direction and goes in circles where this path goes this direction it seems like you can't get on this roof. You could get on that platform if you wanted to. Some medical kits we could get. And so there's two paths. One that goes down. One the path that goes up. And they're just entire, complete circles. Without even really that many junctions in which you would move equipment back and forth. So the idea itself of having these carrier paths is kind of silly. Take this. And this is just a hairpin lock, I'm sure. This? Okay. What are we doing again? We're trying to get tools so that we can make a deal with the Vox Populi of this new dimension that probably won't deal with us. Or we have no idea to believe that they would for an airship that they very well may not have. Like, we don't know how much of reality has changed. And because we don't know how much of reality has changed, the idea that 
you can just assume things are the same is pretty loony. Now, it would make a little bit more sense if we got the weapons and then she said she was able to open the tear back to the original reality we were in. That might make sense to get those guns and and bring them back. But that's not the way they're saying this is going down. I feel like we're going to get trapped in the, this place. This is an entrapment room if I've ever seen one. We got some, let's see, Fitzroy spotted. Let's see what this is. It seems like Daisy Fitzroy is a lot more violent and aggressive in this universe than she was in the previous one. Hmm. The great prophet has foreseen this. And her end, only he can pr protect us. Hmm. So she terrifies the white folk. <laughs> uh, that's not one of those glitches where you get bumped. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Protecting racial purity. Uh, which clearly seems to be part of the job of the police. And this is the Colombian Authority, not some Pinkerton group. There he is! Do it! You bet! Do it. I'm looking to see if there's any other thing. Like we can have a crank gun here over the fireplace. gonna send that guy to go kill some people while I try to save some time and search like so bullets don't really go through that glass there's all kinds of silver silver dollars in the edge here I can't quite get the angle on it. Like, that was a lot of work for Silver Dollar. Like, I just don't know what what we're supposed to be doing with this. Here, really. Need this? Much obliged. It, it just seems like we can just meander every now and then shoot somebody. Open it. You bet. Let's see. The wall keeps hitting it. See, this guy just cannot be controlled for long. Here. Perfect timing. Take him. And I don't know why the hypnotize doesn't work. The game is being very inconsistent about explaining what it should be doing and how it should be. How things should work.
So we're looking for the confiscated thing and then we're gonna end up going right back to the beginning of the area, I'm sure. Another lockpick. Here we've got another Lutrice and one more salt. We're now Just at the maximum door. salt. Any more upgrades now goes to health. Has to. There's the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. So, shoot this guy dead. These two are dead now, according to that. And he's lost the key to what? I think the key to this and so can we look on our missions yeah we already did the side mission that they got us the key that opened that and that was a while ago uh, so we know we're not supposed to go this way so we'll make a effort we're getting an interesting Thing. Can't flush the urinals. Interesting. Interesting sound effect happening right now that we haven't heard before. And they've been pretty precise on the sounds that they were playing. <clears throat> so I, I kind of have to wonder is this a co sex laundry room? Co ed laundry room? Showers and everything? Because we've seen there's some small gender equality that goes on uh, with who works in the military. Uh, maybe they maybe they give these private things to the women, these private showers to the women, and the guys are just over here. I don't I don't think the women would appreciate that any better. Yeah, honestly. Somebody was, she was running in front of the light and I saw a shadow and that scared, scared me for a second. Hmm. So, we haven't been over here yet. How many lockpicks? Five? This. Doesn't matter. There you go. So remember, we would be about seven behind this without the DLC. What's this piece of gear? Enemies provide ammo upon death 40% of the time compared to increase the clip slide by 75%. I'm actually going to equip this piece of gear. The idea of enemies giving more ammo is, versus clip size is helpful. It will mean that I have to be slightly better about shooting the weapons, but also by this point in the game, my weapons are probably uh, stronger just through buying those upgrades. Okay, and they want me... Wow, I'm surprised they didn't take damage there to come down this way. They argued some fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. So Comstock killed her. Unsurprising. Another few lockpicks. 
and blood on the floor and evidence hmm you could pretty much have guessed that Comstock killed Lady Comstock and that's how all she gets as a name even is Lady Comstock there they are, tools. now we just have to get them back to the Vox and then we get our airship and see is she gonna just magic them with a tear back to the Vox or what think you can pick this really that little old lock hmm it's done. Hmm. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. I think he's lying to her again, and he should learn not to lie to her at this point. Just say, I don't know. Factory efficiency up 37%. You know, anytime efficiency goes up at any job, that means there's a chance they can fire one more person <laughs> and make everybody up take take up the slack. Uh, that's why in modern days, if you work in a general office job, you you might be surprised how inefficient your jobs are. You just go around taking meetings, sitting in front of computers, waiting for emails to show up, uh, and not really do much of anything else. It's, it's actually quite ridiculous. And let's see. The founders will bleed. They get the cockroaches, and they didn't need to do that. We didn't need cockroaches, we didn't need shotgun shells. And see, this doesn't particularly look like somebody who is like Irish even, or black. Maybe she's black? I guess she is black, but she looks better dressed than the other people. Found some money. Take so, it. it would be kind of surprising to find some of the elite ruling class locked up in this place. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. No, we didn't. And so she's probably gonna take us to yet a third dimension, where where the tools are already delivered, or something like that. Like something ridiculous like that. The, the problem with going to another dimension is it's, to me, the equivalent of playing a different video game. And if you're going to send your video game into a different dimension, you've now got in the back of my head, why, why am I not just playing Borderlands right now? <laughs> and I cannot think of a great justification for it. It looks like a tear to a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? This is exactly the same thing she said before. And you really don't have a choice. This is how the story goes. So now we're in a third dimension. Well, that did something. Come on, let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for a long time. Okay, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are going to have better lives. Uh, yeah, because a play called The Miserables works out so well. Have you even watched Les Miserables on TV, or read the book, or seen the play? They all die. All of them. Two characters out of about 20 survive that play. I'm yelling at her. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, pick up the 
carbine or I'm gonna hold on to this gun just so we have a gun that we try differently every now and then and the founders were bleed and we can hear that the boxes seems like they're even more powerful in this world so they, they went from being a minor nuisance to a major nuisance to the point where it sounds like they're they are causing a major disturbance and maybe some friendly fire and mass casualties of civilians. Hmm. This is new. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Maybe people that are somewhat near the tears being opened get like this? So we got people on the outside screaming Vox, and everybody I killed before, uh... Dancing around. Hmm. And I want to play pretty thoroughly, so... How is it going? Like, I know they're trying to tell a story here, but it just feels ridiculous. And seems repetitive to run into these people. I mean, I guess maybe we could have run into these people all the time, but the impact would be certainly lessened if that was the case. Hmm. And the vast majority of all this stuff is the same. So every different dimension we go in, we feel the need to run around and look at the whole world when there really isn't much of anything different. Hmm. No more money to get out of the safe. The clocks are the same. Fink is still very obsessed about time and efficiency. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, no. Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. And what is Paris going to be like in this third dimension? What was it like in the second dimension? What is New York going to be like in those dimensions? We don't have a clue. We, we have jumped in headfirst into a pool without even checking to see if there was any water in it and see if I come back here and say Fitzroy spotted is it the same animation or is it a different animation that would be kind of cool if it was a different animation but I don't think it actually is like it would be kind of cool if like in this animation she shot somebody or did something slightly different but no And so they've totally dropped the ball on the idea of seeing these movies and that meaning something. Apparently you can't get back on this side. It doesn't seem like there's anything on that side anyways. And there's a mine in the middle of the place. I'm not going to look behind all these statues again because that seems unlikely. And I can just walk up to the mine without exploding. Bam. 
not late. The mines won't explode even when you shoot them. And here we are. Ah, the fox are fighting. Oh, are they shooting me? I mean, just look at what's going on in this section now. They're tearing the place apart. They've got all kinds of Vox symbols. And these guys seem to have no interest in shooting me at all. They're, they're fighting on my side. Which is interesting because I kind of feel like she should pick up a gun throughout all of this and fight on her side. Uh, I don't even know what we're really looking for here. We're just kind of in the mess of this fight. Jump up here. And... Let's see. Is there anything different over here? I guess not. So we're in the middle of this fight, and it's an awkward place to end this recording, certainly. But I don't know what we're really supposed to do. Are we supposed to just kind of run out of this and let the Vox and the police fight it out? Or should we help the Vox? Should we kill everybody? Uh, I would get more bullets if I killed more people now that I have that gear. I would get more money if I killed more people, which would be nice, but yeah, the game's left us hanging to decide what to what to do. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.